Welcome back, Jayhawks fans. So over 50. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, like the video, share the video, comment down below. And I'm going to say it, Kansas was lucky to win this game. And as I said, uh, probably about six weeks ago in a previous video, Kansas needs Remy Martin back. And this game totally proves that I was right with that video and right with that comment. Remy Martin was huge coming off the bench. So I'll just start there. 23 points coming off the bench. Um, eight of 13 from the free throw line. Uh, if you would have told me that Providence was going to be fouling Remy Martin at the end of the game, I would have felt really good about that. And then if you would have told me that Remy Martin was going to miss several free throws going down the stretch, I wouldn't have been too happy with that. But, um, you know, Kansas, they played lockdown defense the first half. This was a tale of two halves. The second half, they were just good enough to win. So Kansas has some things to clean up. But the Kansas defense, I mean, we've heard Bill Self talk about, you know, like at halftime, we go into the locker rooms, we're not guarding anybody. We're soft. You know, we got to guard somebody. You got to guard somebody. You got to run people off the three-point line. Well, Kansas held Providence to 34% from the field. 17% from three-point range. I can't highlight it accurately. And Providence, a team that usually makes their living at the free throw line, went 11 to 16, 68%. Kansas didn't fare much better. 39% from the floor, a putrid 13% from three-point range, 71% from the free throw line. So, you know, at least it was 70%, but they had been shooting much better um, in the games leading up to this. But uh, Providence found out tonight that Kansas is no South Dakota State. And they are definitely no Richmond. Uh, Kansas, their defense won this game. It was a, it was it was kind of a weird game, in the fact that, or in the, I guess, in the aspect that, there didn't seem like there were many fouls in the first half. It seemed like they were letting them play. I mean, there was a lot of blocks that Kansas got. I mean, let's talk about that for a second. I mean, Oche Abaji, he only had five points, but he had four blocks. I mean. That's crazy. Lightfoot had five blocks. The team had 11 block shots. Most of those were in the first half. You can see Providence only had four. But then in the second half, it seemed like they were calling a lot more fouls. So the first half seemed like a typical Big 12 game, you know, not to the point to where it's a basketball game and a rugby match broke out, but more like it was, you know, they were letting them play. You know, there was like a Big 12 type game, like you had Big 12 officials officiating it. And then it almost seems like at halftime, you know, maybe someone called the refs and said, hey, look, um, you guys are way too loose. You guys got to tighten things up. I'm not, I'm not trying to say it's a conspiracy or nothing. It just seemed kind of weird how, you know, it went from one extreme to the other. And you can see the scoring went way up as a result of that. Providence outscored Kansas 44 to 40. But Kansas had enough of a lead going in at halftime that that wasn't a big deal. But uh, Kansas really – you know, like I said before, Remy Martin, you know, they, they need him. I think he, he was obviously the biggest transfer that they got in this year, and they needed every point that he had tonight. I mean, there was one point in the first half he, out, he had outscored the entire Providence team, and he came off the bench. I mean, it was a 7-0 run that Kansas went on. And guess who had all the points? Remy Martin. Uh, Jalen Wilson, he had a big game with 16 points, but David McCormick was, I don't want to say ineffective, but – I mean, you know, you would like to see David McCormick, you know, getting more than two rebounds. Um, four of six from the line, you know, he had been shooting better than that. But, you know, all in all, Kansas gets the win. Um, there's a lot that they need to clean up before the potential uh, match with either uh, Jim Laranega's Miami Hurricanes or the Iowa State Cyclones. So, um, St. Peter's, first uh, 15 seed into the Elite Eight. Uh, Kansas keeps the streak going of at least one number one seed in the Elite Eight. Um, the last time that that hadn't happened was 1979, so that's a streak that it was nice to see that Kansas didn't break that. But um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and let you all go. Check out my uh, video about the uh, Remy Martin comment. If you don't believe me, I called that a long time ago. But uh, Jayhawk fans, uh, enjoy the victory. Um, you know, Kansas has a lot to clean up, but they're moving on, so – Take care of yourselves, Jayhawk fans, and remember always, rock chalk.